for watching Ben Simmons because this is what everybody's talking about. He was so hesitant. Kirk, his average was down more than four points per game to just under 10 points and more than 34 minutes per game. He also shot just 34 percent from the free throw line. And as you know, that is the worst in playoff history for those who have shot a minimum of 70 free throws. So let's, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the numbers because they're kind of shocking. He logged, again, nearly 34 minutes in the fourth quarters of games four through seven combined. Didn't attempt a single field goal over that span. For the series, he took just three shots in the fourth quarter. None last night, averaging roughly two points per game in the final period. That sounds crazy, but numbers don't lie. Doc Rivers was asked about his struggles after last night's game. Listen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you know, uh, obviously he struggled from the free throw line and, and that became a factor in the series. There's no doubt about that. Still believe in him, uh, but we have work to do. You know, we're gonna have to get in the gym put a lot of work in and go for it. We lost, it sucks. I am who I am. Uh, it is what it is. You know, it's not for, it's not easy to win. And it shows. Uh, I ain't shoot well from the line this series. Uh, offensively, I wasn't there. I ain't doing enough for my teammates. Uh, but there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of things I need to work on. Perk, it's interesting because the specific question to Doc Rivers when he gave the I don't know answer, the question was, is Ben Simmons a point guard that can lead this team to a championship? And obviously, he was hesitant with Doc Rivers with that answer. What should they do with Ben Simmons and all the issues he's having this offseason? They should trade him and make him somebody else's issue, not the Philadelphia 76ers. Doc wanted to say that. He couldn't say that, right? Listen, Ben Simmons and Joel B, we've been talking about the process. Well, the processing has been canceled, okay? Because Ben Simmons is not it. He's allergic to the offensive end. He just don't have it. And he's lost his confidence, not just shooting free throws, but he doesn't get to the paint. He's not even looking to, to look, look to score the ball. And in order to win a title, you have to have a Robin that's gonna come through and help your Batman. And we're not asking Ben Simmons to go out there and get 25 or 30 points a night. All we asking him to do is get 15. 15 with his athleticism, his strength, and the way that he could get up and down the uh, floor with high speed, there's no way he shouldn't average 15 in that series. But that ne that's neither here or there, okay? At the end of the day, he needs to be someone else's issue. Philadelphia 76ers has to trade Ben Simmons. I, I mean, I believe, honestly, that he has worked with sports psychologists over the years. This has been an issue building for a long, long time, Perk. Is there anybody mm -hmm. that you can compare it to in all your years watching where you know they have the talent, but they just haven't been able to put it together and, and this kind of hesitation at the top level? Uh, I, I can't. I can't, Sage, because even, even myself as a role player that averaged five points for my career, I elevated my game in the postseason, and I was a role player. I wasn't even a franchise guy. Yeah. So I'm looking at Ben Simmons, and it's not the fact – that he's not scoring the points. It's the fact that he's not even looking to attack or even looking, trying to score the basketball. That's the problem. That's a problem in itself. And no one is stopping him. He's stopping himself. He became a liability where Doc was almost forced to make a decision. Should I bench my all-star, my three-time all-star, a guy that made the all-NBA team uh, in the past? Should I bench him because he's not giving me nothing on the offensive end and he's been a liability? That's very disturbing. Yeah. And, and it's almost difficult to watch. I know you say trade him as far as his contract is concerned. He has four years and over $146 million left on this current deal. Perk, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. and, and you're not done with it. Ben Simmons in Philadelphia after the Sixers game seven loss. Kendrick Perkins, he joins us with very strong thoughts on that. As always, you know Perk's going to bring it. Sports Center live. Let's go. And that is exactly where we begin. Kendrick Perkins standing by because the Eastern Conference Finals are set. It is a pairing, but it's a surprise to many. The Atlanta Hawks versus the Milwaukee Bucks. The beast of the East is a trip to the NBA Finals on the line. How do we get here? Well, the Bucks got revenge on Miami after last year's loss in the bubble. They swept the reigning Eastern Conference champs. Six players average double-double, uh, double-digit points, led by Giannis, 24-15 per game. Meantime, the Hawks, they disposed of the Knicks in five games. Trey Young was electric all series long, nearly 30 points, 10 assists per game. The Hawks' defense held New York under 100 points in each of the final three games. 
After easing through round one, both teams had much more difficult round twos. The Bucks fell down two games to none against the Nets and later found themselves down 3-2, but they dominated game six in Milwaukee, survived that instant classic game seven. It was overtime in Brooklyn Saturday night, unforgettable. As for the Hawks, they drew the Sixers after going down 2-1 in the series. Atlanta won games four and five and seven. Five and seven number, they were all on the road. Trey Young, again, awesome, 29 points, and big men Don Collins, Clint Capella, both averaging double-doubles. Here's Trey. I know I just had to bond away. Uh, my shot. My shot was, I mean, off tonight, um, and I'm, my right hand and my shoulder is giving out, and I was just still trying to fight through and push through it, and I mean, shots just weren't going tonight, but my, my teammates showed up and, and made plays. It took a lot of losses to get here, and for us, I think uh, the guys who have been here since the rebuild, this feeling is, is a lot better than what it's been. We know it's... it's uh, our first year in the playoffs together, and it's only the beginning too. So uh, that's that's the best part about this whole thing is that this is this is just the beginning. And Kendrick Perkins, as promised, joins us now live on Sports Center. Perk, I, I got to give you credit. This is exactly the way you predicted it would play out. I don't think many other people did. The Hawks versus the Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals. So interesting to hear Trey Young say it, it took a lot of losses to get to this point. A lot of controversy for the Bucks as well mm -hmm. the last couple of years not being able to finish. So this time, what will be the deciding factor in the series? Well, I think it's simple, Sage. It's Giannis, right? This is the moment for superstars. We saw that last round with Giannis and Kevin Durant. We see Devin Book and what he's doing. We saw Paul George take that leap. But Giannis is going to have to dominate. Right now, he's averaging close to 29 points in the postseason. But I think he can average 40 against this Atlanta Hawks team. They have zero, they have zero answers for his driving and attacking the paint. Okay, they are not going to be able to stop him. He should dominate in the inside. He should not settle. He should get everything that he wants. Giannis is going to be the deciding factor, and I'm predicting that he's going to average 35 to 40 points in this series alone. Averaging 35 to 40. Okay, and, and then we will have to watch, of course, and see what they do defensively because Trey Young is on another level of late. By the way, the Bucks are a heavy mm -hmm. favorite in the series. Caesars right now, Perk has them at minus 450. Game one Wednesday night in Milwaukee. It cannot get here quickly enough. Uh, meantime, the Sixers are done. And it wasn't pretty, especially if you were watching Ben Simmons, because this is what everybody's talking about. He was so hesitant, Perk. His average was down more than four points per game to just